All right, what we're going to tie right now is a PMD emerger, high vis. Um, it's come kind of proven to be pretty uh, pretty effective on some 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 of those smarter fish. So it's helped me to outsmart quite a few fish this past summer. So uh, we'll get right to it. Uh, what I'm going to do is just start my thread here, the eye of the hook. When I'm using 6-0, 6-0 thread. Go back to the bend, rip off my tag. <laughs> Tie in the shuck materials, brown Zelon. Use one wrap here. Pinch wrap. Situated on the hook where I want it. Right about there is good. Then, next piece, I'm going to tie in a few mallard dyed wood duck fibers right on top of the zealot. I want those sitting on top. Okay. Pull that in for size. Okay, perfect. And just tighten that down. Next, we'll tie in a yellow PMD dyed biot. Turkey biot. You could use goose. I like turkey just because it's a little bit longer. Tie that in as well. And then advance my thread forward. And trim off. Trim off the excess. Clean that up a little bit. I like to tie a little bit of a tapered body here too as well. Give a little more natural look to it. Okay. And then next I'll take my hackle pliers. I like these for wrapping biots. You can use your hands though. We're going to tie this in. The little groove facing down in the bio. Little groove at the base of the at the feather. That gives us this ridged effect on the body. So it makes it look a little more realistic. A little more uh, segmented as well. Okay. Tie that in. Get about five or six ribs. Bring your thread up, trap it. Capture it on there, make sure it's on good and tight. Then tie it off. Next step, tie in the foam for the foam back. Pre-paired this foam, mashed it down a little bit just to make it a little more malleable in the hand. It's a little easier to work with as well. That should be good. And then, almost done with this fly. It's a pretty simple fly. Next step will be to tie in on the edge of that foam. We're going to tie in some McFly lawn. Figure eight it around. Almost like you would for creating a parachute. Post it a couple times. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. All right, next step, tie in some hackle. This is ginger, ginger hackle. It's gonna imitate the legs of the, the PMD that's hatching out of its um, nymphal shuck. Make sure that's in there good and tight. All right. 
Next step is to dub. Class back there. Make sure all the fibers are out of the way. Dub behind and in front of the post there. Dub a little bit more there. There we go. Perfect. Make one. What the hell? How did a claymore freaking blow up? Two. Three wraps of hackle and tie off. trim. While I have my scissors in my hands, I'll just trim the top of the hackle right here. And then we're almost done here. The next step is just to poke a hole here, right in the foam, where we're going to send that parachute post through. So use my bodkin to poke the hole. And I'm just going to take a piece of wire, you could use a bobbin threader, bring it right through the foam, widen the hole, and then bring it back through as I'm pulling the foam over the hackle. I didn't want to come through too well, so I just manually pull it over. There you go. Alright. Next step. Tie up the foam there. Clip just before the hook eye. Right. Start your whip finish. One. Two, three, four, five. Make sure that's secure. Trim your thread. And clip the parachute post. There you go. There you have it. PMDA merger. I'll clean up any loose fibers around here. And that's the PMDA merger. Well, obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park.